Also right now, new at five, a warning for Facebook users sharing a certain kind of post might be putting your friends at risk of falling victim to a scam. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Patricia Del Rio has been looking into all of this for us today. She's live in the newsroom with more. Patricia. Mark, these are the type of pictures that just hurt your heart to see. They are missing children or they are lost dogs. People see them, they want to share them right away, but you need to be aware before you share. They are gut-wrenching images of missing children or a lost injured puppy. You see them as you scroll your Facebook feed and you immediately want to help and share it. But the scammers immediately take over from there. We're seeing a lot of these posts in those local buy and sell groups. People have a sense of community in these groups. There's a sense of trust. Kristen Johnson of the Connecticut Better Business Bureau explains how the scam works. The original poster, a scammer, changes it to a rental ad. And because you're sharing it with your friends and your friends trust you, if you have a friend that's looking for a rental property, they may say, hey, this must be something that I should look into because my friend posted it. And next thing you know, they're giving their personal information over to a scammer or they're putting down a deposit for a rental. Kristen says people need to research before they just immediately share. She says noticing the language is the same on many posts is an obvious sign. Type in this is the most recent picture of my son Tyler and you will see dozens of different pictures of alleged Tylers. Same thing with the words hi all I'm desperately trying to find the owner of this sweet girl tons of pictures of different dogs. All of these are scams. Finally, look at the locations of the posters. If you look at the person who originally posted it and you see that they live in Florida and they're posting it in a Connecticut group, that's a red flag. If you see that they just joined Facebook, that this is a new profile, that's a red flag because scammers will get banned from Facebook and then they'll just create a new profile. Now, Kristen also says that with regard to missing children, if a child is legitimately missing, you will see that child on the news, photos of them, and not just in some random Facebook marketplace type thing. And finally, images, you can always do a Google search on the image and a reverse search. And if you see that image all over the internet in lots of different places, it's a fake. Patricia Del Rio, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, good information.